I wanted to give you a quick introduction on polymorphism, a question that comes up pretty often. Um, so we're going to start with the basic class uh, inheritance example that we created. Uh, we have a, a class that we created called shape that stores color and name and has accessors. Uh, there's also a circle class that extends shape that also stores a circumference and provides a accessor for that. Uh, also, a square class that extends shape, that stores the length of a side, provides an accessor for it. Up here in our main code, we declared a square and a circle. So the idea with polymorphism is that since square and circle both inherit from shape, um, we can treat them as shapes. So we declare a new reference, type shape. We can just set it equal to one of these other objects. And because square and circle both inherit from it, they both can be implicitly casted. So now with polymorphism, now that we're dealing with, for example, uh, this shape object that was initialized as a circle, even though it was a circle, we don't have access to the circle members. So if we try to do something like shape dot, uh, since it's a circle, there was a get circumference. And as you can see in the IDE, there is no method. And this is going to give you an error. All we have access to are the getters from the shape class, which was get name. And get color. So the other thing you can do with polymorphism is you can check to see uh, what type the class really is if there's a subclass and that's done through the instance of operator. So do that with uh, if uh, shape instance of um, let's start with a square Now let's just do a big else if here. Uh, this is pretty common to see in polymorphism as well as these uh, chained if else and instance of checks. So instance of circle class name. Don't mind my spelling. I'm an engineer. Okay, so now when I run this, you can see that this printed right here. So this if was true. So shape was an instance of a circle. So it's a circle printed. So instead of circle, let's say the shape was a square. I run this. And it's a square prints. And once you've determined a lot of times what type of object it is, then it's generally pretty safe to go ahead and you could cast it back to that type. So, for instance, uh, if it's a square, let's declare a reference to a square. We'll just call it S inside of here. And we're going to cast. So, Use your parentheses. Uh, so if it's a square, if the shape is a square instance of square, we're going to print that and then we're going to cast shape to, to S. And then now that S is a square, we have the get length accessor. Let's put that in a print so you can see that.
Let's do the same thing down here in circle while we're at it. So inside this if, um, if it's an instance of circle, create a reference to a circle, call it C, and then we're going to cast to type circle the shape. And then let's print out the circumference. So, and there we can use C dot. And now that C is a circle, we can do get circumference. So now when we run this, let's see, our shape was a square. And so shape instance of square was true. So it printed it's a square. We then cast that shape back to a square type. And then using that square type, I could call the dot get length. Uh, if we change this over to the circle, rerun this, we see that the first if did not was not true, but the else if was true because it's a circle printed. So then we casted shape to a circle. And we used that reference to call docic circumference and the circumference printed.